Um, Omegle has died. Um, Omegle... Uh, Omegle was being sued in part by, like, a, a girl that m was matched with, like, a predator who she says made her into a digital sex slave. So, uh, she was matched with a pedophile, and then she, I guess, allowed herself to be entered into in a situation where she was being extorted online. And that's a Megal's fault, and she's be they're being sued, like, for $240 million. Um, however, the, the actual effort of keeping the site up, apparently child pornography was, like, such a rampant issue that, despite his best efforts, there was no way to, to, to combat it. And this is sad uh, for multiple reasons. The big one is that um, it signals to me that even like Omegle was not like a small site. Everyone knows what Omegle is. So it signals to me that even medium sized sites are going to go down. The only sites that can exist in the Neo internet, the lowercase i internet, are sites that are so large that they can absorb all sorts of bullshit. Um, they have money out the, to hire entire staffs of people. They can afford the the most bleeding edge for sale Microsoft AI child pornography detection bots and stuff like that. Like the the pool is smaller and smaller. And not just that, not just the size of the website, but also um, the the method of which it was used. One of the key things about Omegle was that you could use it without an account. Um, and it, I, I, I just know for a fact that any website that has no registration process is just not going to exist anymore. There is no way to keep bots off a site. There's no way to keep, um, you know, uh, b abusive, malicious people off your site. A uh, anonymous websites are dead. They just can't exist anymore. Um, I don't know. I, I, my, in my heart of hearts. I believe it's a government thing where they're trying to push people into having accounts that they because when you have like a truly anonymous website you can't like start creating writing profiles off of people like even though the kiwi farms is completely like if you really went out of your way you could use it anonymously the fact is that it's pseudonymous so um they could start making writing profiles of people you know who have lots of posts and then identify them across sites if they really wanted to unless you're using, using like a writing anonymizer um and currently that's like a technology that's only available to people who are in government but um i don't know maybe it might leak out and become like a, a public thing one day normal people can't really use it but they definitely don't want anonymity to exist online and they're doing everything. I believe they're doing everything in their power to destroy it, because uh, it's uh, it's just um, it's not in their interest to have people able to co have conversation um, without without names attached to it. So that's really sad. And then likewise, um, I don't like to talk about the shardy because they have issues with child pornography. And, um, I, like, if I talk about them and people go and check them out, like, they might be exposed to child pornography. So keep in mind, if you visit an anonymous image board in 2023, including the Shardy, uh, there is a, a non-zero chance that the first thing you'll see on the site is child pornography. So I don't talk, usually I don't talk about it. Um, I don't use it myself because I'm just, I don't use image boards anymore. But, um, uh, yeah, I've, I've gotten really negative feedback about talking about it. But one thing I wanted to point out was like in the same vein, um, somebody was basically like threatening the admin of the Shardy, um, which is a, an image board dedicated to like Swayjack memes, which has like a really weird pop culture that's kind of like large. Um, but the, the person emailing him is basically saying, I'm going to start swatting people and I'm going to start saying that it's coming from your site and you're going to get into trouble and shit like that. So like the whole... It's just, it's, it's so bizarre how trivial it is for single bad actors, like a handful of people or even one person to go out and malign a website as being like a stalking platform, a child pornography platform, a, uh, you know, revenge pornography platform, and then compel governments and, um, ISPs and shit to like take action and shut down the site. It's really tragic. Um, it, it, like especially i don't know i don't want to talk someone who's like talk down to somebody who's like a sex abuse victim but suing like a platform because you got fucking groomed uh that's bullshit that's like 
that's like full on fucking retard. And are we just gonna like allow this? We're gonna say, no, actually personal responsibility doesn't matter. Parents should have no role in making sure that their children aren't being groomed. And uh, we're just gonna put the onus on websites that can't possibly afford it unless they're already like a multi-billion dollar platform. It's really, it's really shitty. <clears throat> Money group, yeah. It's really, really shitty. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.